It doesn't take a genius to figure out the pension situation is looking worse and worse every day. But why is this the case? The stock market has been rising for nearly a decade and the economy is supposedly booming. Unemployment is at a record low and the moon is made of Swiss cheese. Why are major pension funds unable to maintain the stability of their funds or at least the perception of stability? Something is certainly going on behind the scenes. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we're going to look at one of my favorite topics, and I know it's one of yours as well, and that is the pension funds. We're going to look at private pension funds, public pension funds. I want to look at many issues, including that which is going on in Illinois. So let's begin by taking a look at this article. Collapse of public pension funds is no longer a distant prospect. Now, while this is out of Bloomberg opinion, having it in the mainstream media being mentioned is a huge step. They're finally starting to acknowledge the fact that pensions are not in a good situation. Now, this article gets into some further details about this, but I really want to show you the charts. I want to show you the data, but I just wanted to touch on this first why your pension is doomed and that is directly out of the wall street journal if you can believe it or not and they use the data from wire points so i gotta give credit to wire points here today most of the charts are from wire points so you'll definitely want to check them out when you can i'll show you that in just a second pension costs are soaring across the country and government unions blame politicians for underfunding benefits lo if only taxes were higher state budgets would be peachy the real problem as a new study shows is that politicians have promised over generous benefits and what will they do well at some point they're going to have to cut so it gets into the details and that leads us into the information. Why baby boomer pensions are doomed. This is out of Forbes. You might know John Malden. And of course, there's more details in here, but I just wanted to show you that even the mainstream media mentions it, but still we have to pretend as if this isn't doomed to fail. Just very quickly wanted to show you the companies with the biggest pension deficits. General Electric, $31 billion. Boeing, $20 billion. General Motors is up there. And so many across this list that are some of the biggest companies in the world. And yet their pension deficits are in the billions and billions of dollars. If there's one thing that's for certain about the pensions is that in general, they are always unfunded. There's no possible way that they can ever pay everybody back. It's not possible. This is the way that they've set it up intentionally. They're all Ponzi schemes. And eventually, with the stock market declining, there's going to have to be, quote, reforms. And in this process, people are going to get screwed over. So let's move into the charts. Let's move into the data. Let's begin taking a look at the overall fiscal condition. How did the 50 states rank illinois unfortunately is within the bottom five actually it's the worst on this list the bottom five are the usual suspects and that shows us the terrible situation that all of these states are in right now so let's quickly move on to the next set of information state unfunded pension debt grows to 134 billion you could see year after year after year it gets worse and nobody cares what do they do let's put a tax on something let's increase taxes over there let's put an additional tax on those people and that doesn't solve the problem it never seems to do so even though taxes continuously rise people never seem to get what they need there's always something that is unfortunately suffering a shortfall and since the financial crisis this has truly been escalating and we're going to have a big problem at some point in the near future i'll talk more about that in a second growth in total state pension benefits overwhelms illinois economy and the state revenues on the left hand side 1000 percent the accrued liabilities and the rest of them state personal income state general revenues pension memberships and so on this is all not even close to the actual liabilities that are being accrued today 
How in the world do they ever expect to pay everybody out? How do they expect to not go bankrupt when you're not bringing enough money in, but you have to pay a certain amount out? Of course, that eventually causes a huge problem. Markets boom 200% since the Great Recession, but Illinois pension shortfall worsens by $56 billion. How is that possible? How does the stock market go up year after year after year? We are seeing supposedly the biggest boom we've ever seen in history, the longest bull market, and yet the situation in Illinois just continues to get worse. Why aren't these pension funds investing in the markets that have been doing extremely well over the past decade. Sure, 2018 hasn't been good, but what about all the previous years? For the most part, this has been one hell of a ride on the way up, but this isn't the way it works. See, the intention with the pension funds is to cause a crisis, but that might be a little bit too deep for some, so let's move on to this. Illinois, true state, worker retirement costs consume 50% of the budget, the most in the nation. So on the very left-hand side, that's Illinois. Next in the list is New Jersey. And just to clarify, unfunded pension and retiree health insurance costs define contribution costs and interest on the net direct debt costs as a percentage of state revenues. You could see that Illinois is at 50%. So they are in the lead or maybe you want to look at that at the bottom but that's the situation chicagoans burdened with one hundred and forty thousand dollars in overlapping retirement debts according to moody's so that's the chart right here again out of wire points but basically what you're seeing is a significant debt load on each individual in chicago today think about that one hundred and forty thousand dollars if you have somebody in your family, somebody in your friends that is expecting a pension, you have to fork out $140,000 for that pension. And of course, this is a very unsound way to do business by taking money from a bunch of people and giving it to another group. It's never going to work. In the process of moving that money around, it's getting lost. Let's call it that. Let's say it's not intentional. Where is the money? Where is it? Look at what's happened to the stock market recently. A trillion here and a trillion there. And pretty soon you're talking about real money. This is out of Bloomberg. Just wanted to show you the fact that this has been the biggest setback in the stock market in a very long time. It shows you up until December 9th on this chart. But if I give you the updated data, this is 8 trillion dollars down from its peak that's the world equity market capitalization you're seeing that stocks all across the world have been taking a beating today so what do you think is going to happen to the pension funds in illinois well pretty obvious they're going to have to cut and it's not just illinois i'm not picking on them but i know that i have many subscribers from there and they are concerned and rightfully so what's happening today is a slow moving train wreck and it is not being discussed enough in the mainstream media the average person who is either getting a pension today or expects one in the future generally is unaware of this information and i will continue to bring it up even though every single time i'm ridiculed over and over again if you don't believe what's gonna happen is an absolute fact you can do your own research and find the countless examples of pensions being cut This has happened many times in the United States alone. And of course, it's happened all over the world. But instead, some would rather have their heads in the sand. That's all for this video. If you found it informative, please give me a thumbs up. When you give me a thumbs up, you're supporting the channel. So I do appreciate that very much. And last but not least, if you want the financial education you were not taught in school, these two books have everything you need. You can check them out at the link in the description. I talk about the foundation, making money, and so much more. So check it out down below. If you want the audiobook, you can get that at themoneygps.com.